Like my favorite strategy is uh, is buying in places that are very very close, for example, to the city center, and have all the all the things a person may need, like uh, public transportation, parks. They are growing and developing, and they're probably a little bit overseen by by um, by expats or people coming to Valencia. Uh, and the price and quality performance is really interesting then. For shorter time frames, that's, is that flipping? Is that considered flipping? Or you would also consider people who would buy it and then just have it leased out also. Then maybe after three or five years, they also sell it as well. Yeah, well, so far, flipping uh, in Valencia, from our point of view, hasn't been the most profitable uh, uh, investment strategy because uh, costs that are related to buying and selling are quite expensive. There are still people that do it, but... Um, but we don't see it as the as as best strategy for Valencia. I like what you said, number three, about hiring people that are better than you. Um, because it makes sense, eh? Because if, if you don't know anything about that particular segment or industry, it's also, uh, it may not, you may not, it may not be efficient in terms of yielding or actually earning money um, for you as well. So um, very, very sound tips, very, very good in terms of how people can actually decide. I, I, I want to ask this though, um, and I'm sure a lot of people are curious about this, maybe two plus years after um, the first lockdowns of the coronavirus happened yeah. and um, the economy starting to open up, but there's still a lot of uh, issues that are going around um, in every part of the in every part of the world, um, logistical problems, inflation, uh, people without having jobs or uh, unemployment. Then you have wars also in certain areas. But my question is this: with all of that being factored in, um, is it still a good time to invest in real estate? If you follow the principles and you do the right thing, then I do think it's a quite a safe way uh, how to take care of your money, especially if you're a cash buyer, especially if you. Um, if you have uh, funds you you want to use, then real estate is a good way. And 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 with the inflation, especially, and now with everything that has happened with Eurobor is going up, and the banks are, uh, we we believe that the interest rates are are also going up at the moment. They are still stable in Spain, but but potentially they will go up. So with all this happening, uh, it is quite a. Um, a smart decision to to put your money in real estate because then it will not lose the, uh, the value. It, the money should not sit in a bank, you know, <laughs> just like that and wait for I don't know what. So so yeah, I, I do think it's a good way um, for it's a good moment for investment, but it has to be done efficiently and also logically. Uh, Valencia is very specific. I mean, it's a it's a funny fact about uh, how we have uh, seen. I mean. In Valencia, there's a cutting line when investment is interesting and maybe when uh, after some amount of money, you really have to consider if it's going to grow in value or are you getting the money back. So just an example, for example, um, uh, high-end properties to rent in Valencia are somewhere between uh, 2,500 to 4,500 euros a month. So I'm talking about apartments in the city of Valencia. Uh, and uh, the same properties that, for example, I'm, I'm referring to, the same properties, the purchase price for those properties are somewhere between now 500, if lucky, to 1.5 million oh, wow. or even 2 million. So, so it is an interesting market because you can, uh, many people maybe can afford to live in this type of properties because the rental prices are compared, uh, like co comparing to states, for example, low, but at the same, the purchase price is quite high. So it's not that great investment at the end. Whereas it, the situation completely changes uh, for lower, uh, lower uh, budget purchases. So it is the, the upside down basically. So if you renting uh, the the minimum rental, for example, in Valencia is somewhere now 700 euros uh, for an apartment, and uh, the the same apartments start costing somewhere uh, 150 to 100 uh, thousand euros. So and even if you get a loan, then probably you'll end up paying maybe 300 euros a month. Uh, and then it's very beneficial, even from that point of view, if you if you if you if you basically take a loan. So 
as I say, it is a good moment, but it really depends if it's if it's um, what type of property and with what purpose, because not every property will, will be a good investment. Some of them are just because you want it and you want it for yourself <laughs> and because you, you can afford it, but not every place will be a good investment, for sure not. So yeah. you have to kind of uh, see where is the cutting line and, and do the numbers. Got it. I want to go more tactical right now for people who are watching this. Um, how would you attack it? buy a property in the center of the city that might be more expensive or buy something that's maybe a bit further out from the center but but cheaper uh, upside wise um what's your preference well we like my favorite strategy is uh is buying in places that are very very close for example to the city center and have all the all the things a person may need like uh, public transportation parks they are growing and developing and they're probably a little bit overseen by by um, by expats or people coming to Valencia uh, and the price and quality performance is really interesting then. Um, so in Valencia, we have to understand that Valencia, for example, is a small city. Uh, it's, it's it's big on the map. It's the third biggest city, but but the feel of Valencia is very small. So it's very walkable, very flat uh, by bike here pretty much anywhere. So I'm not talking about like 20 minutes walk from the city center. I'm probably talking like seven, eight minutes walk from the city center. Uh, those are my, my that, that has been my favorite strategy to look into neighborhoods that are not as, uh, as trendy as, as some of them are already because the prices are so high and they're more uh, more sensible to, to market changes. So if there is a bubble, let's say, and if you have paid only because of the location, you probably have a ch have better chances to lose, you know, as well, if anything happens with the market. So, uh, but yeah, as I say, there are different strategies. Uh, we, the areas that we are at the moment avoiding are the ones that are not very pleasant or nice to be at. So, so it's a long way and eventually maybe Valencia will get there, but but we, we at the moment we have been just avoiding areas that we think it's a no. And then um, as the market is hot, uh, keeping your mind open and, and looking for what is available and what the property can give to you. Uh, because, mm, you know, the market is quite funny. Uh, sometimes the, um, they ask in prices, um, basically a normal person, if you open uh, any search engine, you will not be able to see what is the average price what the price should be sometimes they are overpriced because the landlord feels like it uh there's no um basically floor plans or or reports or nothing available so just go and shop around and, and so it's very confusing so when we do hunting like property hunting uh we many times look at what is a good property what is the condition of the property the exact location and what potential it has got so keeping mind open and and not maybe going too specific just the old town for example but again every person has it's something that is a, we work with every person individually and and look at what uh you know what is the what is, are there any side projects maybe the investor wants to use the property for themselves for like some period of time so depending on age situation we do this assessment and, 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 and but yeah so i can't say that i have one favorite strategy <laughs> yep. but I, I like what you said also that the clo at the closer to the center, I think it also places a smaller amount of risk as well because you know that um, at, at a certain point in time, there will be more people that are willing to live uh, closer because they can walk, they save a lot on transportation also. And if it's very close to uh, convenience stores, cafes, restaurants, yeah. cities, then um, they also not just save money, they also save uh, time as well. I, I wanna... Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And and. As, uh, for example, and also I know that when you come to a new city, uh, you're kind of drawn to the old town, but but it's not always. It's, it's uh, old town can bring some problems. Old, ta old town can bring older older buildings. Uh, ground floors can have humidities and and maybe you know some something that is uh, because it's the oldest part of the of the city, and it doesn't have the public transportation maybe that accessible or groceries as even a little bit outside. So depending on, on, on what your strategy is, if you want to rent for tourists 
and that place happens to have a license, um, then then that's perfect because tourists always want to be closer, like right in the middle. But if your plan is to rent like to medium term or longer term, then then going a little bit outside is is best. It's, it's, it makes sense and actually, and and those properties definitely are going up in in in, in the value than uh, maybe the city centers already. Like it's been always quite high and it's stable, so it just stays there. So if you want to kind of safer and start with lower and then a little bit outside is, 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 is a great idea. Got it. Got it. I'm curious about this and um I, I wanna I wanna uh, drill down what your thoughts are. This, for example, um a person has seven hundred thousand euros. What or it? Let's say it's you. You have seven hundred thousand euros. What would you do, or what would you think would be a better idea for you? Buy one property that's seven hundred thousand, or buy two properties that's three hundred fifty thousand each. I would go with two. Okay. Two okay. properties, three hundred fifty each. Definitely. Okay. okay. Because for 350, it's not a bad budget for Valencia. I mean, Valencia is, is definitely the market is hot and the market is go, uh, um, it's moving. So and the prices have gone up, um, and especially the the lower the lower prices have gone up. But 350 is a good budget to buy, and it it can give you maybe 100 and um, like 150 square meters. Uh, that's good space and if you search well then maybe a balcony some a little bit of outdoor space and and with new properties you will get more in in, in revenue i think oh, yeah. uh, i think that is already after the cutting line when when uh, <laughs> because the rentals here as i say they for even if you buy for 700 you probably won't ask more than 2000 euros a rent no, whereas no. if you buy for 350 you still can push to maybe 1500 even like i'm just giving numbers as, as examples now but but there is a line and i would i, I would buy uh, two probably unless unless you want it for yourself for a certain period of time and you have specific needs or whatever then then i would split that that budget into two 